So, this is a Raspberry Pi. What can you do with a Raspberry Pi? Well, there's a lot of things you can do with a Raspberry Pi, but what did I want to do with a Raspberry Pi? Well, I wanted to combine that with this. All right, what is this? Well, this is something really old and cruddy and very used, and it's called a geophone. Okay, what's a geophone? Well, it's actually used for um, sound penetrating uh, visualizations, things like that. So you you can kind of map out what's underneath you using these things. And what do I want to use it for? Well, I want to combine this with this to create this, a seismograph. So there's a project out there uh, called Raspberry Shake. It is a platform where um, it's sort of the citizen science idea that's going around a lot these days, where uh, you set up some relatively cheap hardware, um, you connect it to a network, and boom, you've got worldwide seism seismographs that are networked together. And that's what this is. So that's what I built. This is going to be a rather short video because, honestly, it's not that much work. So what you do is you go to the, <clears throat> to the website, and there are various options. There are turnkey options where you can buy a package that gives you... Um, now, to be clear, this geophone is not what uh, is used by the Raspberry Shake project. It's actually a different one that I bought over 10 years ago for this project. <laughs> Some projects take longer than others to complete. They have their own geophones that they've selected for their project. Um, they fully characterize them, which is very important part of the process. And um, they developed an interface board. So... As a minimum, you can purchase just the interface board, and you supply your own uh, geophone, and you supply your own Raspberry Pi and case, and you build your seismic. That's the cheapest option. It's not cheap. Uh, I understand. It's a very, very tiny board. It's $100, I believe. And for $100, it doesn't look like you're getting much. The point, though, is you're paying for the software, really, and you're playing for the cloud service. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, you can certainly build it yourself and, and do it yourself. But uh, it took me 10 years to get to this part. I figured I'll just buy it. If you want to properly contribute to the network, you have to use their geophone. So you can either, I believe you have to purchase it directly from them, or you can purchase the same model. Um, I didn't look into that. I just wanted something simple. So I ended up purchasing uh, the geophone and the board from them. I ended up purchasing a Raspberry Pi myself, and I ended, up, I ended up 3D printing the case. Their case is nicer in that it's uh, it's a, out of acrylic, it's see-through, you, you know, that looks kind of cool. I just printed it out of the whatever filament I had in my printer at the time. I think it was the demo spool. So once you have it all set up, so here I have it connect, um, you know, put together and ready to go. You start it up, and this is the interface you see. Okay, so it's pretty simple. It, it's similar to other projects. The, the, the base uh, setup basically just shows you uh, whether your device is connected to the network um, and things like that. If you click on, say, this, you get... Um, what it does is it generates a, a, a GIF every day, two actually, that correspond to... Uh, the readings for that day. So as you can see, this particular day, uh, it looks very noisy, but that's that's normal. Um, these geophones are extraordinarily sensitive. Uh, we're talking, you know, microvolts or whatever it is. And they sense everything, even, you know, me walking through the home. So what's important about installation is to place it on something as far away from interference as possible. Just in my case, I placed it on the concrete floor in my basement in a corner as far away from us, from people, and from equipment as possible. And uh, that's where it's been sitting. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, again, a short video. There's not much to show here. I just said, you know, I got the bits. I can very Lego-like, put it together, plugged it in. Um, the software was very easy to configure. I think I just put in my name and email address, and that was about it. And off it went, and now I have a seismograph, which is kind of cool, right? 
when the snowplow <laughs> drove by a few days ago, I actually saw it on my seismograph. It was huge. I uh, highly recommend this project. Uh, if you're interested in creating this sort of thing uh, the easiest way possible, um, give them a go. Otherwise, you know, you can always do it yourself if you want. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Until next time.